Thank you, Zuyue. Thank you, Zachary. Okay, the other two, I, I give out already. Lah. I don't want to keep calling your name. You feel like turning out, you turn on, you turn on. Ah. You don't turn on, I also get tired and sick already. Sorry, ah. no time. I've been coughing and so tired. I want to spend my time to teach now. So if you don't turn on, if anything's complained, then we die together. Lah. Okay, first of all, I'd like to say that I'm very proud to, um, to all of you last week that you all did the, this homework uh, during the Zoom period and was really... Um, uh, first time in my life for so many students. Uh, uh, of course, during the boot camp, we don't say that uh, boot camp, that one don't count. Uh, okay, this is the lesson. Uh. First time in my life, uh, you guys are uh, look at this one here. It's so fascinating. Uh. You see, these are all, all of you did is this one here. You see, I mean, how often do you get Zoom classes to, uh, to get, make so many students to write their train of thoughts, their ideas here within 15 to 20 minutes, I can't remember. And all put it inside here in details and it only a couple of, thank you, Yi Ting, uh, for submitting your homework via WhatsApp completed and uh, some of the answer were being shared with other classes as well. Who is that now? Can you, just in case your boss asks why I never turn on. Uh, okay, okay, I know, I know. Uh, because that's why it's recording, can you repeat again, uh, Tian Yu, that your camera is down? Uh, my camera is broken. Thank you. Okay, uh, so uh, just in case my boss do... Yeah, uh, and then also showing the video. Mm, okay, thank you. So thanks to all of you uh, who really put in the efforts to, to do this. No? And then later, we're going to bring into groups. Uh, uh, where's the group? Uh? Uh, here. Okay, so... Uh, the only triggers today are uh, Chiao Ling is having fever. So, uh, yeah, only Guo Ren, Chiao, uh, Wei Qi, and Mian Mian. Guo Ren is still not in yet. Uh, okay, Ya Ye will be, eh, where is Ya Ye? Uh? Ya Ye and Zi Ye will be, uh, Yi Ting will be in D. Uh. Guo is a must, so later you're going to discuss it, all right? So, let's go. Uh, i wait for everyone to come in, then I'll randomly select some of them to read now. Uh. Some of them are very good. Yeah. So we continue last week where we stopped because we did not have enough time to complete it. <clears throat> so we are still talking about the last week lessons. Uh, 1997, first primates created by embryonic cell nuclear transfer. May I have Zi Yue, please? So yeah, are you ready? How do I pronounce the word? Primates. Primates are good models for sorry, studying sorry. human. The, are you asking me this word right? Correct. Right now? Yeah, so yeah. Or are you asking me which one? Just oh, no, the, the primates. Uh, okay, okay, sorry, because uh, someone was just saying hi to me. Okay, carry on. Primates are good models for studying human disorders. Cloning identical primates would decrease the ge genetic variation of research animals and therefore the number of animals needed in research studies. Similar to previous cloning experiments, Wolf's team of scientists fused early stage embryonic cells with enucleated monkey egg cells using a small electrical shock. The resulting embryos were then implanted into surrogate mothers. Out of 29 cloned embryos, two monkeys were born. One was a female named Nancy, and, and the other was a male named Ditto. This experiment showed that primates, humans' closest relatives, can be cloned. So what do you think? Uh, so yeah, what do you think? Is it a good idea? It's now primates is the closest, is the, uh, the monkey, the apes, which is closest to humans. Uh. Do you think this experiment cloning, uh, because later you're going to do some debates and uh, discussions on the topic. Well, what do you think it is a good idea that primates, which is the closest relative to humans, that the cloning is kind of quite successful? I, I'm not sure about you, uh, Zuyue. Would you would accept this, let's like, say you are now the prime minister or the president of a certain country, yeah? would you accept this and pass the law that this cloning can take place and help to 
uh, clones those extinct animal or even uh, low populations back to you sir ma'am um yes i think that that's like it really depends on how it is used and like to what extent you are using this like cloning thing because um because like all the others like creatures and animals are like part of this like ecosystem and then if you're like artificially making more creating more of a certain type of animal you can kind of like destroy the order of it but then i feel that um if it's trying to get like an extinct animal back it may have like some benefits because it allows people to like know about it firsthand and rather than just studying about something that does not exist anymore, they can like see what the animal is actually like and learn about it better. Okay, when you're finished, I'm please say that's all. Thank you. All right. That's all. Thank you. Wait, so yeah, wow. I never regret today I choose you as the first speaker. Okay, doesn't mean the rest are not good. Huh? Everyone's from now on have a turn to talk like that. Wow. Thanks to you, Tzuye. I realize exactly why you turn off your camera. Tzuye, you don't realize today your reading is so good and your explanations, your arguments, and your debates really well. It gave me an idea. So you say artificial, no good. Huh? Suddenly you mentioned the word artificial, right? Wait, wait, see. We are talking about artificial intelligence, right? We are talking about robots. Huh? So now if there's a question asked you, do you think cloning and artificial uh, robots, huh? do you think it's a good idea? No? <clears throat> Which one will you think have the impacts? Okay, so yeah, you know what I mean. Uh? So now you say cloning no good because it's against the religions and other things. And what about people who are now developing developing uh, artificial intelligence robots, which is like similar to face like you like that, correct? Right? So yeah, right? You know what I mean? Uh? Uh, can do much better job than you know. And they got no PC the like. You score there anything joke or joke, just you score them vulgarity, say, please do not use this kind of language on me. You know, you use this kind of language to those Abeng uh, Asing or all those gangsters or whatever, what you whack you with, they start the war with you, right? So, agree or yeah, yeah. Well, can you imagine a robot talk to you, yeah, yeah, like that? <laughs> so, you see, <clears throat> you must ask me, I always ask me, Uncle, so, okay, okay, I know, I know, I know. This, this is very important. Why is it important? Important because, uh, guys, this is going to affect your life, like, affect your next generation. Uncle Raymond, another 30 years or bye-bye from or 40 years, bye-bye from this world. If I, by the time I'm old already, I don't need to worry about this artificial. Maybe the artificial intelligence or cloning person might take care of me. So think about it. Uh. Later when you make your argument or even when you're writing your essay, guys, remember the IP student, they're going to write an essay, something like that, right? reflections. So Zuye, now you understand what I mean, Zuye. Hello? Can you don't show me your hand? Ah, so yeah, so yeah. You know why I'm saying when you're reading, I'm asking you to explain. You're actually self-reflections talking to yourself. Really, Ming Bao. You don't do that in your school one, to be honest. They just read and then just do a comprehension passage, right? Correct now. For IP students, they just read, they do the question, they do the summary, and then on top of that, they have to do another self-reflections. Oh, one step advanced. Okay, so now. Thank you for this one here, and I move on to the next one. So by looking at it, uh, the way you he wrote uh, is like very um, how should I say uh, very uh, science not scientist uh, it's like a, a a magazines in a research paper something. Like we have a speech on Wednesday. It's graded. Okay, yeah. I think. To be honest, uh, Warren, to a certain extent, uh, recently the government MOE has changed a lot of the examinations and formats, which I think is really good. Like the one of the, uh, the things that you're talking about, speech and presentation, or watching the video and give a talk, and then now they are cutting down for not reading oral. Uh, I think it's good to have that kind of presentations here because we, we honestly I feel that uh, you this generation, most of them, I may be wrong, who see one kai ko and do presentations. So maybe now it's time for you all to do the presentation. And thanks to you, now you understand. Huh? So everyone have a chance to do that, all right? So now, 1997, nuclear transfer from genetically engineered 
laboratory cell. Zachary. Um, this experiment was an exciting combination of finding from earlier work. Campbell and Wilmot had already created a clone using the nucleus of a culture itself. This time, the researchers introduced the human factor IX, factor uh, 9. Sorry, they say factor nine is a Roman word. Uh, sorry, oh, okay. Norman number, numeric number. Okay, factor okay. nine. Uh, factor nine gene into the genome of sheep skin cells grown in laboratory dish. Uh, factor nine codes for a protein that helps blood clot, and it used to treat hemophilia, a genetic disorder where blood doesn't form proper clots. To create a uh, transgenic sheep, the scientists perform nuclear transfer using donor DNA from the cultured transge uh, transgenic cells. The results were poly, a ship that produced factor 9 protein in her milk. This experiment showed that sheep could be engineered to make therapeutic and other useful protein in their milk, highlighting the potential medical and commercial uses for cloning. So please um, do your presentation for this uh, for this part here. Back to you, Zachary. Wait, sorry. Yeah, explain, explain. Uh, so basically, um, cloning, uh, it doesn't have to like always be like, but it doesn't have to be a bad thing, but like, you just have to use it for like the right purposes. For example, uh, for this um, factor nine gene, it's used to make um, use of uh, like useful. It is is it's useful. Slowly, like, slowly, slowly, slowly. It, You're doing well. Slowly, don't stress. Don't stress. Okay, relax. Yeah. It's okay. used for like a good reasons, for example, it's uh, like therapeutic and other useful proteins in uh, milk for sheep. Yeah. You know, there's one time, I'm not sure how old are you, Zachary, there was a time when there was a sar period, uh, when they say got chicken flu, the bird flu, uh, where they cannot eat eggs or whatever. You know, they go and modify the eggs. Uh. You know, if, if you eat the naka ta guo tiao gen, uh, tao luo guo gao, uh, the fried carrot cake and the 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 the, the fried kway teow. You know you need to put eggs or sometimes eat mee rebus or mee siam or certain products. You need eggs, right? Now you cannot eat the chicken and the egg. No? You have to find another replacement. So now the scientists use that kind of eggs are quite quite similar to eggs, but organic eggs or don't know what eggs, but it's not come from chicken. They kind of some kind somehow similar to chicken their eggs. So this is a possibility that in the future. Due to the overpopulations. Then you say, Uncle Raymond, Singapore is already underpopulation. What talk you? Because there are other countries who are overpopulations, right? I think China is also slowly going down because of the one child policy last time. And now you see all the youngsters, the young couples don't want to give birth, want to marry, no give birth. And now they want to marry, they, they think their child has the dog, the birds, the cats, the fish, the, the, the whatever's pets, okay, instead of having a child. That really makes all of us very scared right? because at the end of the day, if we are not having the continuities of human race, uh, <clears throat> I don't know what happens to your next few generations. All right. So um, take note of that as well for the next person to talk about it. S will be 1998 to 1999, more mammals clones by somatic cell nuclear transfer. Okay. Now, after this one, okay, who's uh, this one is a very short paragraph. Uh, uh can I have uh, who uh, me, me, your aura over already, right? Calling once, calling twice. Uh, can you just answer then, please? Are you able to read this paragraph? Yes, are you able to read this paragraph? Okay, after the successors leading up to Dolly and Polly. Other scientists want to see if similar techniques could be used to clone other mammalian species. Before long, several more animals had been successfully cloned. Among them were transgenic animals, clones made from fetal and adult cells, and a male mouse. All previous clones had been female. 
So they are cloning female, of course, are female because it's easier to give birth and they've got these cycles of uh, you know, having an aid and things like that. So, okay, thank you. Next one, 201 and nature's animals cloned by somatic cell nuclear transfer. May I have, uh, uh, the, the, who should I call? The, 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 yeah, yeah, your turn. As the needs of successfully grow, cloned animals grew, scientists began to explore cloning as a way to create animals belonging to endangered or extinct species. A challenge to cloning endangered and extinct species is finding closely related animals to serve as egg donors and surrogates. The surrogate, current surrogate. surrogates. The current more known were chosen in part because they are close relatives of domestic cattle and sheep, respectively. In 19... 19... Sorry? In 2019... No. 20... no, no, it's not 2019, my dear. 2009? No, it's 2009. 2009. Or you, using... can say, uh, you can say 2009. 2009, using ghosts as egg donors and surrogate goats. Another surrogate, group, surrogates. Surrogates. Another group of researchers cloned the first extinct animal, a Spanish mountain goat called the Brocado. Sadly, the one of one kid that survived just died. Just Destinations. Destination died soon due, after birth due to a non effect. So can you explain what you have read from these two paragraphs? Uh, so the uh, the scientist has used the uh, uh relatively closed animals uh mm -hmm. the egg to like uh clone mm -hmm. out the new animals like the uh, mm, mm -hmm. the Spanish mountain goats which is like clone out from ghosts egg donors yeah so uh but yeah the uh clone animal died. After birth, the four magic web, please. If you are done, um, that's all. And thank you. Okay, remember that huh? when you're finished, mm -hmm. what you say, just say that's all. And thank you. Okay, I'll say that. That's all. And thank you. Thank you. All right, so let's move on. 2007 or 2007, three mates embryonic cell, stem cell freed up by somatic cell nuclear transfer. So these are the ones that are possibly, they are getting more and more uh, advanced, more and more aggressive, more and more looking forward, more ambitious to make sure they can start growing a bigger and bigger animals to see whether how this cloning effect works, which is good uh, in a way. It's not wrong. Okay, uh, Warren, you're saying your speech just over two days ago, huh? Going next week, Wednesday, huh? Ah, just now. Nice. Later, you got a presentation. But one of your members today is on sick leave, huh? Chow Ling. Okay. <clears throat> uh, well, should we have... Uh, dun, 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 eating? Researchers took a cell from an adult monkey and fused it with an inscreted pig cell. The embryo was allowed to develop for a time. Then its cells were grown into a culture dish. These cells, because they can differentiate to form any cell type, are called embryonic stem cells. This experiment showed that nuclear transfer in a primate, which researchers had tracked for years without success, was possible. It opened the door to the possibility of human therapeutic cloning, creating individual specific stem cells that could be used treat or study diseases. Yes, back to you. Well read today. Thank you. Once you finish, just say thank that's all and thank you. What do these two what does the uh, do these two paragraphs tell you? Basically it's like stem cells saying how the cells like the clone they can they have like um they 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 like advanced and they can use these cells for medical research that can benefit us humans because they can use the cells to test 
to see like if they can find any cure and treat diseases. Where's the four magic words? Um, that's all and thank you. Thank you. Well done. Okay, let's move on. What, what you say is correct, huh? is this? All right, so this is how it works. 2013, human embryonic stem cell created by somatic nuclear transfer. Back to you, Jia Sing. Just now you yawn until so, your mouth so big, you're so tired, poor boy. Come, let's go. Overcoming decades from there, start. Overcoming decades of technical challenges. Meta, Leopold, and colleagues were the first to use somatic cells nuclear transfer to create a human embryo that could be used as a source of embryonic stem cells. The resulting stem cell lines were specific to the patients that came from a baby with a rare genetic disorder. In this experiment, researchers took a skin cell from the patient and fused it with a donated egg cell. Key to the sexual experiment were modifications to the culture liquid in which the production was done and to the series of electrical pulses used to stimulate the eggs to start dividing. Following the cloning controversy of 2004 to 2005, in which South Korean scientists falsely came to have used somatic cell nuclear transfer to create embryonic cell lines, stem cell lines, the scientific community demanded much stronger evidence that the procedure had actually been successful. Uh, what is your summary? What is your reflections based on these three paragraphs? Please explain in your own words. When you are done, please say that's all and thank you. Don't trust the South Koreans. <laughs> Hello, bro. I'm waiting for you. Oh, my internet was bad. I thought I was really lagging. Uh. So they took the cell from the baby, then they fused it with egg cell, then they made a uh, stem cell, then they can do stuff with it. But then uh, since the South Korean lights, nobody believed them at first. That's all. Oh, too short. Eh? Some more. Eh? Got other things to talk about. Eh? The other things are all boring ones. Like, all science stuff. No, you still have to explain, my dear. Can you imagine this is a summary? You have to explain the, the in AP words. More or less, you are there, uh, but um, what else besides they're talking about? Yeah, I agree. You talk about the South Koreans. They are falsifying, they're saying that they claim to do that, but I know it's not. And what about the first paragraph about the rare genetic disorder? It's not elaborated, what? Yeah, just use your own words. No, it's okay. So I feel that um, this rare genetic disorders, the patients, so they found a they they took skin cells from a sick baby, <coughs> and then, and then they did science, and then what sorry, know. and then they did the stuff to the skin to a skin cell to make it the stem cell again. Okay, if they know that this baby here got generic disorder, why do they still want to do a test? Maybe maybe it's easier with sick babies. No, I would say that the reason they take uh, this um, sick baby generic disorder is to see whether after cloning, does it really mutate? Oh, because it's specific to each patient. Yeah. So you want to see whether you really after cloning, does it really help to improve or deteriorate or even the same? So it's good to take some defective cell to ensure that whether when clones, does it really bring the same bad genes to the other clonings? Or only the good ones. So this is just a test of that. Thank you. So cloning, do it or don't do it. We shall discuss in lesson three is now. Okay. Then this is the homework. Okay. This topic is cloning terror, the war of images. So now we are cloning terrorists, like, which is terrorists. So now we are going to fight war against terrorists. Well, this one, whoever read, good luck to you, eh? Warren. It is easy to forget that the months before the terrorist attack of September 11, 2001, the dominant story in the American media was not terrorism, but cloning. 
The front page story in the New York Times on September 11, 2001 was in fact a report from the National Academy of Sciences urging that cloning and human stem cell research be publicly funded and conducted under established standards of open scientific exchange, peer review, and public oversight. This report supported a 20, wait, a 20, uh, wait, I, I lost what I was talking about. <laughs> oh yeah, this report supported a national policy quite different from the one that Bush and had outlined in a major speech in on August 9, 2001, where which prohibited any new development of stem cell lines for human embryos and signaled a deep hostility to all forms of cloning, both reproductive and therapeutic. Bush ignored the numerous warnings throughout 2001 one that terrorists were poised to attack the United States because he was concerned with the stem cell issue, one of the most profound of our time. The debate over human cloning was the top continuing story of the moment. Bush's ratings were below 50% as his hand-picked Council on Bioethics recommended policies opposed by most of the scientific and medical community and supported by Christian conservatives. Yes, please explain in this speech here in your own words and once you are done thank you and that's all oh that's all and thank you um okay so basically like it is talking about like how um how cloning was like used to be a very popular and um controversial topic that seemed to catch um catch a lot of people's eyes for example like for example a lot of topics like um, terrorism. How, wait, what was I saying? Okay. So, however, no, 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 no. Topics like terrorism, etc., would steal its, will kind of like steal its spotlight as not a lot of people agree with this person, um, Bush's like review and opinions on cloning. However, it may be. However, like I think the cloning is like a very how do you say this. A very important topic to talk about la because mm -hmm. it actually while a lot of the news are like covering stories of our past and what has mm -hmm. happened cloning actually explores themes that affects our future that is the okay anymore oh uh, that's all thank you thank you that's the past affect our future so what this par paragraph introduction is actually clonings of ideas a human's ideas that will uh, mutate or, or even spread and being manipulated and maneuvered around to different parts of the world, that these ideas of cloning of the ideas of mindset, which is called like propaganda, right? You know what you know what's propaganda? Brainwashing our uh, eating uh Tian Yu. Hey, Tian Yu, uh, what happened to Han Ling? Uh? And Ke Ying, I understand? do not know. Uh, send, I can send, give send a, a message, thanks. And yeah, yeah, okay. And but yeah, I guess it's during uh, his CCA. Uh. Oh yeah, oh yeah, scouts. Okay, okay, Kering. Okay, you know what I mean, huh? So this, you, see, you realize this is just a one big chunk of introductions telling that okay, it's not about war against terrorists. It's now cloning. It's war against cloning based on the ideologies that people might spread. That people at that time here is because of the nine one one. Why do you think this Osama bin Laden uh, want to attack nine one one or American soil? Is it because? They are they have different ideologies, or is it because they already clone in terms like cloning, as in not a human physical, maybe the ideology or mindset or their way of like become a very not stereotyping, more the like very anti to certain group of people. <clears throat> All right, let's look at the next one here. Can you? Thanks, Warren. It's still me. No, Warren, uh, can you? Huh? What? I just came back. Something okay. September eleven changed all that. The horror of cloning was replaced in public consciousness by the more immediate experience experience of terror, or perhaps replace is a is too strong a word. Cloning was driven off the front pages for a long for a time by more urgent and seemingly seemingly less speculative dangers. But it remained as a crucial rich issue. It resurfaced, for instance, at the Democratic Convention in July 
of 2004. Ronald Reagan Jr., mm. the son mm. of the former president, gave an eloquent, eloquent. speech eloquent. Eloquent eloquent eloquent. speech in defense of therapeutic, not reproductive, cloning and stem cells research, and John Kerry acceptance speech included in the included a promise to be president who believes in science and implicit contrast to in, George uh, implicit contrast to George W. Bush faith-based science policy driven by Christian fundamentalist uh, agendas. Okay, so what does this paragraph tell you? Mm, this paragraph is just basically saying that uh, the topic was brought back or like it was like brought back by this person named Ronald Reagan Jr. who is the son of the president. And then it's meant to con... Huh? A former president, president, sorry. Former pres the son of a former president. And then what his speech is basically a contrast to another person's uh, name, George W. Bush, fate, like his science policy also. Yeah, uh, that's all on that. Uh, that's all. Thank you. Okay, what well, actually this paragraph is saying that uh, you see, whatever it is, the president has come up with different ideas to replace that words called, um, uh, the words replaced for the, 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 the words um, cronings. As the cloning here, it refers to something that is uh, taboo or maybe a word that is not supposed to mention because due to some Christian belief that these are not supposed to be done, these are against God's will. And of course, you can see the word Ronald Reagan. If you look at the word carefully, children, uh, leaders, you realize Ronald got six alphabet and Reagan also got six alphabet. So uh, according to the Christians, uh, yeah, yeah, when you have seen a 666, uh, it's the devil. So when Ronald Reagan was being the president, so a lot of people say, oh my goodness, the devil is running the world. And quite true enough, uh, yeah, yeah, and wait, see, if you don't believe, you go and Google it. Uh. During Ronald Reagan's time, uh, um, the father, not this junior, junior is not the earth. During Ronald Reagan times, there was a lot of things happening in his uh, presidency. For the four year or eight year, I can't remember. Okay, so sometimes it's quite true. Uh, the names uh, to them is like a curse already, a curse. You know, um, whether you believe it or not, lah. Okay, but because in the Bible, six 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 means the devil. Okay, uh, that is why they were so concerned about whether are they calling back is the devil job no? calling up to do this kind of thing. So the Christian are against it. Um, you know, I'm so sorry, ah. Uh. Okay, guys, uh, this is American, so there's always a freedom of speech, but sometimes. When you have too much freedom of speech, it might go overboard, it might hurt someone, it might hurt a certain group of people, and then end up it become war of words. Instead of war of fighting words, uh, that means scolding each other and you know, accusing one another. Back to you, Ray T. Okay, Meanwhile, the images of cloning and terrorism began to merge in popular fantasy. Osma, Osma bin Laden was... You're so the, nice to him, man. Eh. It's Osama. Os, Osama bin Osma, Laden. Osama, oh, nice to man. Eh. I, I think you'll love it. Eh. Later, I'll tell you what the Osama bin Laden stands for. Okay, carry on. <laughs> Osama bin Laden was rumored to be cloning Hitler to become an advisor to his inner circle. 500 allied Aryan... Uh, pronounced as elite. Elite. Elite, 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 a much larger host of cloned stormtroopers marched off to their destruction in the Clone Wars chapter of the Star Wars saga. And a Google search for images of clones and terrorists were invariably drenched up an array of faceless, anonymous, homogeneous warriors. In, in advertisements, clones of the best-selling iPhones 
were de depicted as shields carried by oncoming waves of masked stormtroopers. Oh my goodness, Osama become calling Hill Hitler, my cousin. What the hell is he doing, man, Osama? Sorry, uh, this is recording. You know how I say Osama, not Jiaxing? Kain, Zachary, you know Osama stand for what? Ready? Only stupid SO make SO. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Get a joke, huh? Now, Osama Bin Laden is so rude. Yeah, who is rude here, man? Anyway, this guy killed a lot of people. He nearly killed my cousin. Okay? My cousin was nearly at the 911 building at that time, and thank God he was not there. This one's serious, huh, guys. Tell you, tell you. Not kidding. Huh? I really, my cousin, Zachary, this one's not kidding. Huh? During that time, my cousin was working in one of the Twin Towers. Okay? And he's a Singaporean. That's what I heard from my auntie. Huh? So he came back. I think somehow he really escaped. Huh? So I don't know whether he's really working there at that time or not. So Osama is the only stupid asshole make asshole that's been Laden. But it's true. Huh? He's getting people to kill for a certain cause. But then again, now you have to understand why do you think Osama want to attack American soil? Right, Rezi? Why do attack Singapore, China, Korea? Huh? Why do attack uh, Japan or other parts? Why American? Sometimes I may think of it. You need to explain. Huh? But let me explain to you why I don't really like Osama Bin Laden. Because he has, number one, killed innocent life. Number two, getting that terrorist to go and uh, uh, smash into the two twins buildings is really a very coward act. Agreed or raising? Right? It's very coward. You want to attack, uh, you go and bomb the military base, right? We, we go direct to the, to the Japanese camp and then bomb and kill the people there. Fair enough. You go and kill the innocent life and just to declare war with the Americans. That is so stupid, right? At the end of the day, you know what happens? The whole entire world, about 80 over countries, decided to attack Saddam Hussein Iraq. Okay? So think about it. Um, do you think this guy is good? Some people say, yeah, because of him, it's good and things like that. To me, it's uh, why people got terrorist uh, attitude because you feel that you are destroying my, my culture, you're destroying my value, you're destroying my, uh, my, 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 my religions. So therefore, I need to protect. It's nothing wrong. So sometimes, wait, imagine uh, if someone were to attack your family or do something, you will fen fu ku sen ni hui ni jia ren, right? Yes, correct. Because you know, I, <clears throat> yes, correct. Jia Singh, correct. Yeah, he was attacking Afghanistan because Osama Bin Laden was hiding in Afghanistan. And one of the Taliban, uh, wait, in, uh, if I'm not mistaken, in, uh, in Afghanistan or uh, Afghanistan, they got this very huge statue. Uh, they go and bomb it and, and destroy the whole entire statue. So I decided to ask my Muslim friend, uh, with Reti, and you all do that. Uh, you are going to destroy people's religions. Uh. You know what they say to me, Reti? No, we don't do that. So you see, you give people the wrong perceptions about like Islamic or Muslim people. Right? Do you mind, Reti? Right? You see? So you sometimes you have to look things differently. So the reason why I'm teaching you all these things is not for your set three, set four. Sorry, yeah. Okay, it's for future. You are right, Jiang Sing. I'm sorry. After Afghanistan, then later they attack Iraq. You are right. So Afghanistan is where Osama hide and then they attack. Of course, um, by the way, Reti, Osama Bin Laden has been destroyed and killed. Totally destroyed. Okay. So, but now we have new. Hi, hello, hi. I uh, we got new people coming in to, to create terrorists, especially most of them, the terrorists, according to the world, United Nations. Uh, most of the terrorists are just saying, is it correct? Most of them are coming from Indonesia. Not true, ah. Huh? Most of them are coming from Indonesia. There's one time two years ago, Reti, I don't know, was it what last year or the year before? They want to send a few drones uh, to fly to the we are seeing uh, for the national day. Uh, want to bomb 60,000 spectators in the floating grid. And thank God our the police managed to get hold of them. You see? So is it true that you are against religions? Uh? Yeah, yeah. Is it true we are against certain base? Uh? You understand what I mean? It's ideology. So this, this month topic is going to think about it. Uh. 
if you guys are going further study in your A level and your uh, poly, uh, these topics is going to be there quite long uh, because these topics will tell you about seriously. Next time you guys will be working in the office area, you will meet different type of bosses, different type of colleagues. Some colleagues are good, some colleagues are like shit, some colleagues are like uh, backstepping you, some colleagues are really help you all the way, some colleagues will sacrifice for you, some colleagues will don't give you a bloody damn, things like that. So this like, you are war fighting to a certain group of people. So just like this one here, back to you, Reiti, what does it mean to you? Uh, so by the way, sorry, yeah, uh, you this is this the first time you do this type of presentation, right? Uh, sorry, uh, I, I say sorry to you, uh, because uh, I'm not preparing you for O level. Because when you go to A level, uh, GP, uh, you have to present. And the worst thing, uh, I heard if you go to Republic Poly, uh, every single day you must present. Great, you say, Holy shit, I, I tell you, really. I got these students who was forming my for my ex school. Uh. So he was uh he was posted to Republic Poly and he's a China boy. His English was not very good. Okay, I coached him for two years after I quit my school. He, his house and my house pretty near. So the, the thing is that the joking part said, Well, who wait to take a poly the end of our he end up Republic Poly. <laughs> and end up, uh, that's all tea tan cow. Which one like a poly maintain tell what present the how long? Good for you, ah. Cause I, ah, my English, ah, yeah, but okay, right? He just like that for three years. Seriously, Republic Poly need presentation, and I truly, I think, ah, this is a real world. Hey, Ray, see if your company pay you ten thousand dollars, you can't do a presentation, ah, please, ah. You go and fly kite with me. And now you see, Quarren already say right, he's doing presentations. Seriously, so what? You can write. So that that day you tell me that your father want you to have A one, right? For English, I cannot be one. You know why? Who said I can't put Chini? Are you able to speak that well like the Amora? You know it's Amora. You know it's Amora. Like why? Seriously. I mean, I can speak quite well. I don't know. Ah, uh, shut up! Uh. I know you're number one. Uh. Good lah. Uh. Good for you. <laughs> I know. I'm so proud of you, my dear Hanlin. Yes. But how many like you like that, Hanlin? How many like Guoren? <laughs> how many like my Chia Sing? Hey, hey, Reiti, sorry, uh, Ke Ying, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I don't worry about you, okay? And uh, Ke Ying and, uh, okay, you are new to this class. Uh. You have to understand, uh, because you do not have a platform in school to do it. Do you Reiti? Every time you do it, uh, shut up, sit down, keep quiet. No, uh, you think you present. Uh. You see, uh, you must impress to express so that you don't feel depressed and stressed. Ready? You must impress and express. Not if not, you feel very depressed. So yeah, yeah, you have been improving, ah. Uh. Even starting, ah, uh, don't mind, yeah, yeah. You're reading, ah, uh, very scary. You scared. I can hear from your voice, and uh, 糟糕我要读了, But now you see, wow, high slang, eh? High 咬字, eh? 好像老外在咬字, well done. I told you, ah. Uh, I'm gonna talk to you. Sorry, I'm talking. I tell you, ah. Uh, if someone, some idiot come to you uh, in your school and say, hey, Richie, don't slang, please. Uh, yeah, yeah, come stop it. You're not the, the, the American, okay? In your heart, you just smile to them and tell them F-O, okay? <laughs> tell them the F-O, seriously. I have student who slang in my previous tuitions. He was being mocked and, and criticized, yeah, yeah. Who yeah. He's now doing presentation in one of the... After his university is doing some presentation. Excuse me. I've been working in the real world for more than 20 years. I work with big bosses and big company. Not all teachers have the chance to work in outside. I'm not showing off. I want my student to show off, not me. Right? So if you're scared to present, good luck. So you see, Han Ling has been like well, talking, argue. I, I, Han Ling, I, I, my favorite tuition. Then you always correct me, right? Tuition. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. When he came in, he was like a nerd like that, very scary, very tiam tiam, quiet, quiet. Now you see, he always like to talk and argue with Hao Xuan. This is the platform, ladies and gentlemen. And I always can't wait to hear Jia Xin to tell me his ideas. His answer may be short, sweet, and simple. 
but Tata you more sweet. This is the way I want to see our uh, team make by ma. Ah, once you have this kind of way of talking, ah, uh, the rest <laughs> you fly. Please explain this. <coughs> oh, vlog ah. Uh. RP is very good. I'm uh. sorry to interrupt you, Ray. See, RP is a very good support. Uh, to be honest, because I like their concept of presentation. Seriously, everyone say that ah, uh, those are the the. The student who cannot make it in in other poly or JC will go RP. No ah, uh, please no ah. Uh. I do have friends and 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 uh, teaching there as well as ex students from there. Uh. They are now doing super well. And the guys who I told you will go RP already. See, he end up police in the police. Okay, and that day I saw him when I was duty. I have to salute him uh, because he's rank higher than me. <laughs> and now he ORD from police uh. You know what? He's helping his mom. Zai mai mai ban mian zai hou mao qiao. A very smart boy, a good boy. This is what I want to see from all of you. Let's go, Reiti. Uh, so cloning has uh, become like something people think is like fictional. And I, um, so Osama was rumored to be cloning Hitler. So people thought he was, um, people thought that he was bringing war to back basically. Yeah, and um, and clone, clones were also inside uh Star Wars, and uh, and uh, it was used as advertisements. Hello, where's my four magic words? Ah, uh, thank you. That's all, and thank you. Thank you. Honestly, I really please don't get angry. I don't want you angry. Then then you say, I don't want that. I'm going to remember stupid cast next week already. Tell me the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, the sincere truth. Ah, do you think the way just now your presentation can pass or not? Answer, answer. Don't you answer? No. No ah, you sure not? Then you shy ah. No, no, no. Don't ah. Sorry ah. We are doing professional here. If you know that you cannot pass, ni si to yi ting ya pass, tui bu te, wei ti. Because they still set for lai, ni bu ke chi na bian. Si la, wo zao gao, wo bu wei du wo de oral. And you spend four years ah to study just to spend ten minutes and fifteen minutes to do your oral, and you go and do that and die ah. It must be them clown and stupid, right? Don't know, Reiti. You got more to come for more. I I'm talking to the rest, Keying and the rest, ah, uh, and Ya Ye, all of you, ah, uh, okay, and eating, eating, no problem, should be okay. All right, I'm telling the rest of you, you're going to face a lot of this kind of presentation and talk. Trust me, if you cannot talk, sorry, don't blame anybody, blame yourself. Reiti, the way you talk, ah, uh, is a very typical Singaporean. Yeah, wow, this is my first time in clown, Uncle Raymond. I never done this before. It's really not bad, really, you know, if I speak like that. You won't feel, no, you maybe just the past. You won't feel. You, as long as you talk something, uh, you won't feel. I got one student, uh, for two years, she never, <coughs> she never talked to me. Until I was so fed up, I told the daddy, I cannot teach her. Not because I don't want to teach her. She don't want to express and impress. It made me very depressed. That's it. So you must say, uh, Uncle Raymond's, uh, from what I know from this paragraph, uh, it's about talking about this, uh, this stupid guy, uh, but not stupid, uh, okay, the Osama. Again, he wants to rule the world by hopefully cloning a killer and get more, a lot of people like the stormtrooper, a lot of big armies uh, to attack the world, so to conquer the world. And then also the same story, like the Clone Wars, like Star Wars, where I don't watch the movie, but somehow or other, I just think that this movie is about uh, cloning a lot of army to control the whole entire universe. Get it? You have to learn to talk like they're very informal, but very professional, but very, um, uh, what do you call, I like the word, uh, Hanley, very cliche. <laughs> it can right. be sometimes good, sometimes bad. It's not not cynical, but very nice and good. You can see from here, like Guo Ren, Hanley, Tian Yu, and Jia, uh, Jia Xing, and Zhi how they talk, right? Hopefully, you all can start to get together and be something like that. And hopefully, next year, 
I will really can't see all of you graduate with pass not fine colors for uh, 11 point or 10 point or five points. Uh. It's not that point that I count on, really. It's the moment when you get out of your school uh, and go to A level and poly uh, or even university that how you can talk well, articulations. It's very important. Quarant, do you no problem? Handling, no problem. Chasing, no problem. Zhiye, no problem. You can improve a lot. Then you, slowly, sometimes you get quite a bit nervous. Well, those people going IT, who say that? Ayo. Somebody say that. Okay, numbers. Okay, next one. Can I have... Uh, Kaying, are you ready? <coughs> So, the most explicit, the most explicit convergence of cloning and terrorism in, in popular culture was Aaron McGruder's cartoon series on the Perry campaign support of stem cell research and therapeutic cloning. Mac, McGruder envisioned a, an October surprise just before the turn. 2009 election in which Hello, brother. It's 204, lah, bro. 2004. Uh, <laughs> oh, right. 2004. In which Osama bin Laden appears on the appears on TV calling out Jida. Jihadis. 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 To yeah, okay. okay. To engage in stem cell research. Bin Laden's theory is that by encouraging Americans to clone themselves, they will age more quickly. A common fate will with clone organisms, leading the U.S. Army to be staffed by ailing senior citizens. The moral of the story is then drawn by a Fox News commentator. Any scientist caught doing stem cell research should be regarded as an illegal enemy combatant. And John Kerry is clearly an unwitting tool of Osama bin Laden. Okay, tell me, what is this paragraph about? It's about cloning. Yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks. Uh. You don't tell me one word like that, then you say, that's all right. Thank you. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Come on, some more. Uh, it's about how... I, and my class, don't tell me. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh. Please know. Uh. You pay for the class, you're supposed to torture me, okay? My rating, you're supposed to torture me, to say as much, seriously. You know that martial art? You know that martial art? Like martial art, like Ye Yong Chun, or like Taekwondo Karate, right? They always have to punch and kick, right? Why? Because they have to go for competition, correct? Right, yeah, yeah. So once they go to competition, they have to fight each other, they can raise their hand, right? 对吗？所以他要跟师傅切磋武功。如果他师傅说好，你可以下山跟人家比，就呢，你连师傅打不赢，你怎么出来社会混？Let's be honest, things. You are not Singapore student. You are international leader. Your work is not in Singapore. You come here, Singapore, seek a pan jiao, you get stepping stone to go for further education, further career prospect. But sorry, oh, yeah, yeah. 我还是喜欢住在新加坡跟中国中国有小切条吃我很喜欢在故宫我看到那些皇帝看到那些皇帝看到那些皇帝看到那些皇帝看到那些皇帝看到那些皇帝看到那些皇帝看到那些皇帝
using the clone to age their people faster. So then once they're all faster, all their soldiers will be aging, then that's the way we can attack them. So they are using clone stem cell to, to inject into the American citizens, American soil, instead of using weapons. You get me now, biological. Remember, some of them are doing biological science and physics. Who have not read that? Yeah, Halle. But similar and more consequential convergences of cloning and terrorism could be found in the philosophical deliberations of the President's Council on Bioethic, Bioethics. Leon Cass, the chair of the commission, portrayed cloning as a process that, evoke, that provokes an instinctive revulsion, leaving for little room for ethical reasoning on a complex moral and scientific issue. Cass complex cloning to bestiality, cannibalism, incest, and rape, and concluded by urging us to steer a middle course between the brave new worlders, the cloners, and Osama bin Laden, the terrorists. Cloning and terrorism converge as forms of extremism and are merged with forms of radical evil, the former loaded with sexual and reproductive taboos, the latter of demonic and even satanic overtones. Oh my goodness, this paragraph, I think it's very good for you to explain what the, the hell you're talking about, man. We <laughs> you. Right? Yeah. All no, right, really? so you're just saying that they're, they're very much comparing on this, uh, how, um, this like, Sorry, sorry. Uh, this cloning to like very like demonic and like bad forms of things, like uh, like racism, it's like sexual offenses, things like that. So what is actually what else? What else? Before you say that, sorry, thank you. Uh, they're just bad la, and they're just discouraging people to do it. I think that's the main point. Magic word, please. Sorry, that's the magic word. I do not know. That's all, and thank you. That's all, and thank you. Thank you, sir. So you see, uh, what you say, cloning, uh, all these are all the very, very bad things. Seriously. Saying that by cloning, it might create all these things to a lot of people, especially if you are landed in the wrong hand. It's just like, if a gun is landed in the wrong hand, that means this guy will be, become a terrorist or even a robber or whatever, you know, do bad things. Last but not least, can I have Hao Xian? Are you ready to read? Okay. Cloning, like terrorism, is an iconic concept loaded with ideological and mythic con connotations. It is not merely an abstract or technical idea, but conjures up associations with abortion, test tube babies, reproduction without sex or sexual difference, Nazi eugenics. Ah. Yes, eugenics. Eugenics and the commodification of organs and organ donors. It has the ability then to mobilize deep antipathy across. No, antipathy. Antipathy. No, antipathy. Anti please do not read anti here, please. That is an American pronunciation. We pronounce as anti. Thank you. Antipathy across the political spectrum, arousing both circular anxieties and about unnatural processes and religious taboos on playing God with the creation and destruction of life. The figure of the clone has become synony synonymous with images of mutants, replicants, cyborgs, and mindless soulless masses of identical warriors ready to sacrifice themselves in suicide missions what might be called chronophobia embraces a host of anxieties from the specter of the uncanny dub double of the evil twin to the more generalized fear of the loss of individual identity thank you what does this paragraph means to you your reflection back to you Haoshin, before you say that's all and thank you mm. Uh, to me, I is basically saying that cloning is a uh, cloning is basically like ideological and mythical, and like it's evil, uh, because it can 
figure out like images of a lot of di different type of rep replicas and beings and making them the making them sacrifice themselves for or like do jobs for people who create them okay then your magic word please that's all thank you thank you very much okay <clears throat> we have completed all this year, and this is a summary. A war is a terrible evil. Okay, you are supposed to read this passage here and then summarize in 80 words and send to me via WhatsApp with your own handwriting. Okay, and now go back to you, Hanling. Thanks to all of you. Uh, I will be reading every single one if I have the time. But let's read Hanling first. Hanling, will you mind read to the class first? Your first. And in fact, thanks to all the 13 of you here who did a great job last Friday. I've shared with my set one, two, and four <coughs> classes as well. Uh, going to share with my primary school tomorrow as well. That you all have done, you know, uh, nobody so far in what I've seen uh, in the Zoom can really put all the 13 wonderful leaders to write your train of thoughts within less than 20 minutes, if I'm not wrong. Back to you, Harley. All right. All the way, okay? Let's go. All right. Biology, cloning. Due to biology being a very touchy yet completely related subject towards cloning, with advancements and changes in biology at every moment, cloning is made more and more possible by the second and it's scarcity. Or, advancements in biology allow us to understand the body better, with better treatments being developed. We also get to understand how certain things are more deadly to a human. Biological warfare is strongly tied to chemical warfare, and they allow each other to be more and more effective. Okay, let's go back to the top one again. Chemistry. Cloning. As biology and chemistry are strongly tied, especially in such a sector, chemical compounds have and are still being crucial roles in discovering and opening door to cloning. War. Chemical warfare has been long in place. Every single weapon to ever exist had one way or another linked to chemistry, guns, bombs, and all these were made through the advancement of chemistry. And without it, war would not be the same. Physics. Cloning alone breaks so many laws of physics that even talking about it is a crime. I like war. that. I like the way you say that. I like this part. It's really very, very good. I, I love it. Trust me. It's, but don't talk about it. Ayo. You talk about it, uh, it really create a really a scene food. Well, I think you don't have no throw apple in my head. <laughs> okay, war. War. Oh. Physics matters in every motion. Shooting a bullet, dropping a bomb, everything is related to physics. Unlike the other science ones, advancements in physics will, will be very difficult to justify the outcome of a war. Little, any little change can cause a large impact in war. <laughs> Scientists can declare a winner or loss in a war even by a single sliver. Despite physics having no relation whatsoever to cloning, everything we do is related to physics and cause everything to happen. And hence, I think physics is the greatest effect. Summary. Science is dangerous in war. Misuse can cause wipe out the world. We are entrusted this power and we have to use the science responsibly. Responsibly. Misuse can lead to incidents like Hiroshima and Nagasaki happening again. Anything else could tr be the trigger to start the war. Science is the daily bullet that punctures true humanity. I like this man. Science is the deadly bullet that punctured to humans, to humanities. Well, punctured, not destroyed. No. You know why puncture is worse than destroying? Uh? Yeah, yeah, correct. Uh. You puncture means the yao si bu si yao huo bu huo jiang. Yan yan yi si na zhong kan jie. Wow, strong words. Uh. You just completed an IP A level GP paper, similar to what it, you're supposed to do. Uh. Thank you. Guys, for those of you who are just trying a few months or weeks, huh? like Yang Ye, uh, Ke Ying, Mei Mian, and uh, Yi Ting, and uh, Rei Qi, you know, this is, oh my goodness, there's a cockroach going in my room. And he's flying like hell. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm not scared of So you can see, uh, uh, you can see this uh, Rei Qi uh, and Yang Ye. This is something that you will not see in your school, correct? Right? We're putting all three together and within 20 minutes to, to do that in the class. I happened to do that in my class before. Uh, we're doing social study uh, for uh, NA class. Uh, yeah, yeah. Not easy to get them to do it, but you know, after when they completed, of course, there's uh, a rewards for them. Okay. A reward for what? 
After they completed, they can use their handphone in class, but which is not right. Okay? All right. It's not right. But they use handphone to check information there, which is also may not be right at that time. But then again, I have to let them to know that you must study and learning must take place so that I can entice, ensure, and enable them to continue to learn. So you are doing, okay, tell you this is yours. Huh? I do not want to read the rest first for today. Uh, Tia Singh, uh, you have not completed uh, your this part here uh, and Kering also. Please send it to me. I really can't wait to, in fact, all of them have finished uh, except the two of you. So please uh, give it to me. Let's talk about, um, let's, let's see who is not. Because I want you to go back to your group now. Huh? Oh, Shen, thank you. You're finished already. Uh, can you don't destroy my 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 this uh, uh Microsoft Word? Uh, exactly, thank you. Eating, thank you. Uh Kari, you need to do the uh, the physics effects and summary, Kari. Yeah, yeah, well done, thank you. So yeah, thank you. Tell me, thank you. Uh Ray C, thank you. Rachel, your conclusion is very interesting. <laughs> I I read some of them. Uh, uh, Quarren, thank you. Wow, Quarren, yours is a very long one. Confirm, uh, it's a it's like a if A level paper. Well done. Within twenty minutes, whether you chat GPT or AI or copy, uh, it's a good job. Is it very long? Oh my goodness. And yeah, uh, Min also. Thank you. Where is Jia Sing one? Uh? Jiaxing, you need to talk about the effects and the summary, okay? And send it to Uncle Raymond by WhatsApp or email to me, okay? I want to fully complete, I want to show off the 13 of you to the rest of my other classes. Okay, now, uh, please check your group, huh? because I, I'm not, I, I may worry I forgot uh, your group names. Huh? Please go back and uh, go back. One minute, please go back. Where, where is my group? Where is my group? Hey, where's where's the group? Hey? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hmm? Okay, Timmy, Han Ling, Zachary, and Ke Ying. You know who your group, huh? Later, tell me, Han Ling, you know, huh? please. Tian Yu, Hao Xian, and Jia Xing. Guoren, Mian Mian, Chiao Ling, and Rui Qi. Uh, Guoren, Chiao Ling is on MC today. Zi Yue, Ya Ye, and Yi Ting, okay? Remember your topic, huh? <coughs> I'm going to go to the breakout room. Warren, you'll be presenting, huh? Well, because you got a presentation coming up soon. Hey, where is my breakout room? Huh? Where do I go to my breakout room? Uh, group one is who? Uh? My team, me, Zach, and uh, Ke Ying. Ke Ying and who? Uh? Me, Zach, and Ke Ying. Z Zach, huh? okay, Zach, okay, thanks. Tia uh, Sing is which group? Uh? Group four, right? Is it group four or group three? Uh, two, Tia Sing, right? Uh. He's with me, me and Hao Xuan, two. Uh, group, oh, okay, thanks. Uh, Quarren will be main main group three room three. Yeah, yeah, will be room four with okay. Ten you will be in room two. <coughs> Ray T will be in room three. Hey, which two yeah? Okay, ready? Go to your room now.
Da, da, go to your room. <clears throat> okay, get ready, group three. Are we group Do the presentation. We're not done. Though. You want me to share screen? You're not done. Okay. How much you have? Not done. Totally not done yet. Totally not done yet. Uh, how much have you done so far? Have like you completed? Paragraph. Huh? Yeah, like 20%. 20%. Okay. Honey, man. Some strong back. I know. How much have you done? Uh, done. I'm just writing the intro because I have a really huh? bad habit of I have a really bad habit of doing the intro last. Okay, which group? Uh, group one is Han Ling. Group two is Tian Yu. Group three is Guo Ren. Group four is Zhu Ye. May I know who has done? What's What's wrong with the, turning on your camera? The both of you. You know, Uncle Ray really OCD. What's wrong with not turning on your cameras? I don't understand. So, very far from done. Okay. So, how? Okay, why not we be fair to everybody? Whatever you have done, whether 10%, 20%, 30%, we'll let the team leader to do the presentation first. Then, next week, we'll see how much we can do. Okay. All right. So, uh, it's good for your teammates, Charlie, to come back again. All right. Okay, I, I say one more time, uh, the both of you, I don't want to mention your, who you are. Please turn on your camera if you can. Uh. How about, how about I one got point, I think nothing to do with camera on and off, uh, please. I, I'm not born yesterday. Uh. Don't tell me Wi-Fi is lagging, can, can, cannot turn on camera. I know where it is. Sorry, Quarren, what do you say? an idea how about i um how about we present something else and we do the debate next lesson okay you present whatever you have come let's go no no like no, not i present right? my presentation i present my speech for next wednesday ah okay okay you have ready huh oh uh, no it's like everyone has to write their own advocacy speech oh my goodness okay come you want to share screen Mine explain what wait 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 mine explain what an advocacy speech is to the illiterate person here me. Okay, so advocacy speech is basically everyone has to choose a topic to advocate for. I expect you know what advocating means. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to know. I'm okay. I'm illiterate at some point. Okay, so basically you have to write a speech to advo advocate for something, and like like, like I, for example, ego friendly change. Uh, yeah, yes. and. Like, however, our target audience is our schoolmates, which means like, um, it has to be within our range of capabilities. Lah. Like, we can't advocate for um, world hunger prevention because we're just all 15-year-old kids and we can't really <laughs> help world hunger. I disagree. Uh. No, Your like, physical soul is the start of a leadership. Uh. I disagree that you are young. Uh. You are... Uh, 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 good enough in, in other country 15 years old can uh, uh, license to drive okay you want to share your screens or your things whatever you have 
type of photographer. I'm not, I'm not really done with my slides, but I can just share whatever I have. Okay, okay, let's go. And yeah, also, you can like, give me some tips. All right. Yeah. Also, I'm going to have to like move my camera down so I can have um hand gestures because it oh, is... Oh, okay. yes. What? Yes. And do you want to stand up and present? Or? By right, by, by right, you're supposed to stand up and present in the class. Okay, no. We're, uh, we're doing it online through Zoom. So it's basically like almost oh. exactly like this. Oh, so that means you're not going to the school and do you're doing it at home. Lah. Yeah, we're forced to go home. Go home. Huh? Forced? Ah? Oh, my goodness. I mean, okay. next, next Wednesday is HBL for us anyways. Understand. Let's go. Wait, I need to go find my slides first. No problem. <laughs> While finding your slide, you all can still touch up whatever uh, you have discussed. Send your message to one another. Okay, and tidy up. Okay, Ya Ye and Yi Ting and uh, Jia Xing. Jia Xing is not new. Rui Qi and Ke Yi, maybe you are new to this. Uh, right, so yeah, do it. Uh, Hao Xian, are you there? I have like, way too many Google accounts, so I have no idea where my slides are. Just, just don't stress, just find it and then we do it. Yeah. Zachary, okay, as your group. How Shen, are you able to talk to us? Yeah, I'm typing. No, no, I want to see both of your faces. Please be don't be so rude without turning on the camera. We are I already saying one of my criteria for this every class is to turn on your camera. Okay, this slide isn't mm. completely done. And let's go. Uh, it's 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 a funny, it's funny, okay. <clears throat> it's, <laughs> I think, in my opinion, it's quite funny. Okay, let's go. Let me get my script out. Uh, may I ask, Warren, how long must you present? Uh, is there a time limit, so like one or two minutes? Uh, it's three minutes. Oh, no, three the minutes. The time limit is three minutes. So you can present less than three minutes, but not go over the time limit. Oh, wait, you can be less than three minutes, but no more than three minutes. Yeah. Okay. Four. You'll see. All ever is two minutes. Yes, we can. Yeah. Okay, wait. Mm. Uh, later, uh, some of the students need to stay back for a while. Uh, Han Ling, Hao Xian, Guo Ren, Zi Ye, and Tian Yu, please stay back uh, after the class. Xiao Li. What did I do wrong? Wrong. <coughs> Let's go. <clears throat> a few years ago, I was at a UN organized event listening to advocates, advocacies against meat based diets, and had an interesting stop, encounter. Stop, stop, stop. You are very nervous. Relax. Cool down. I can say that. Good luck to you. Say, hi, everyone. My name is Warren. Today, I'm here to stand right in front of all of you and do these presentations. Let me tell you what I'm going to present. Let's go. I mean, it's like my second paragraph, so I just read my speech. Yeah. A few okay, years ago, I was at a UN, UN organized event listening to advocacies against meat based diets and had an interesting encounter with a salesperson offering nuts. I hesitated at first, but decided to try their coconut milk. To my surprise, it tasted good. Good afternoon, esteemed teachers and fellow advocates. Today, I would like to share some changes I would like to see implemented in our tiny school that can benefit the entire world by combating global warming. Yes, you must have guessed it by now. I'm advocating for the replacement of regular cow's milk with vegetarian alternatives like nut milk. But why nut milk? First and foremost, the delicacyness of nut milk is not a downgrade from the regular milk we're used to, but really a taste to behold. Secondly, nut milk, like the almond or cashew milk, has more health benefits than cow's milk. As you can see from the graph on screen, it is cholesterol-free, is higher in vitamins and calcium, and lower in saturated fat as compared to cow's milk, making it a healthier option for those looking to limit their cholesterol and fat intake. Environmental-wise, nut milk is also superior to dairy milk as it is associated with far less greenhouse gas emissions. It has lower carbon footprint 
and less methane production compared to dairy milk. Production of nut milk also requires fewer resources like land and water, as opposed to cattle farming, which requires vast amounts of deforested land for cattle grazing and growing feed crops as well as substantial water usage for the animals and processing. By choosing nut milk, we contribute to reducing our carbon footprint and promoting sustainability. So what can you do to help our cause? First and foremost, when ordering beverages like bubble tea and coffee at Starbucks, you can request the barista to swap their regular milk for their vegetarian counterparts. You can also try out these types of milks on your next trip to the supermarket with an open mind. Who knows, you may love the OT taste. Well, can you feel it? The solution to global warming is right at our fingertips and it tastes like nuts. Let's make the switch to nut milk and play a part in combating climate change. Thank you. Well done. Now let's go up and I'll go in nut or whatever. Sorry, no, that was good. That was good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think uh last month topics about climate change and sustainability uh has helped you to advocate to talk about these um topics about alternative changes from cow milk to almond milk as well as soy milk. Uh, <laughs> and uh yes, you really pay attention, uh, Tiasing. Good. So sometimes uh, it's good to get some comment on that. Yeah, the gesture is good. So my advice is that, well, well first of all, you can, you can do like this. Okay, this one, yeah. But wait, let me tell you, that is not the end of today, what I'm going to say. Well, first of all, think about it. You can say, think about it, okay? Something like that, okay? Practice your hand gesture. Ah, uh, yes, this. Okay, sorry. Okay, Quarren, well done. But um, there's certain part you are very fast. Relax, cool down, calm down. Then see, then see. What do you think? Well, uh, something like that. Okay. Get in our Ray and uh, yeah, yeah, and Mian Mian and Zachary, uh, Zachary, uh, Keying and and uh, eating. So this is the presentations that some of you will have to go through in your own level presentations. The IP students, their presentation is three minutes, so you can tell. Uh, how long it take to prepare all the slides? Well, to be honest, we've given quite some time, like, cause it's an alternate assessment, aka AA. So like, we're oh. given quite some time. We're given like over the holidays to do it actually, but then again, we also had to do a lot of other stuff Research. like math, like math. <laughs> oh, math also have to do presentation. Yeah. Oh but it's a recording of a video instead of um presenting face to face now. So now you see already you get it now. It's all about presentation. It's about articulation. It's about using how the eight W and one H. It's about so then how. It's about what will you foresee in the futures in your real career. The career is that you have to do something like um what uh Warren is doing right. So good. Any questions for that? Oh yeah, there's supposed to be a Q and A session, so you all are supposed to ask questions to me, and I have to answer. That's it. Uh. no, I'm too lazy to ask. Not sure. Riti, any question? No, yeah. You all kind of have to ask because, like, my tester teacher will ask. <coughs> why soy milk? Not, why why yeah, yeah, almond milk, milk, not soy milk? Wait, what did you say? Why almond milk, not soy milk? Um, I for almond milk, I'm just mentioning some of the examples of plant-based alternatives you can try. But of course, if you prefer soy milk, it will be you can also have soy milk since it is also a plant-based alternative, and you can also um benefit your health as well as help the environment by consuming soy milk, yeah. So, uh, but my, the examples I have stated out is, includes, but isn't exclusive to almond milk, soy milk, um, oat milk, etc. So as long as it is plant-based, I do advise you to try it out and maybe have it be a permanent part of your diet, yeah. Good question, Rachel, to ask these questions. 
uh, good answer when you answer back. You can say that, uh, I think on the actually people will sure ask you this question, like what Jia Xing has, why soy milk? Uh, I know, uh, we all know that soy milk is so popular. In fact, you go anywhere in a restaurant, uh, soy milk is like soy bean milk. It's so common now today. So instead of give the soy milk a break, uh, why don't we look at, at the other alternative like almonds milk? Get it? So give soy milk a break. So it's true we look into that. Of course, through my presentations, uh, we I emphasize more on almond because I feel that uh, almond is also in terms of calcium protein. This is one question. Honey, <coughs> can we have one question asked? I um I'm not used to being the one asking questions. So. Yeah, ask like, I'll say I'll say I'll say I'm asking questions on this one. Zachary, I just need one more question. Yeah, because the tester will ask two questions. Okay, eating. Mian Mian Ya Ye, Keing. Yeah. What do you foresee uh, in the near future? What happened, as you mentioned, in your almonds milk? And what ha happened if the almonds are being destroyed for some parasites? Uh, would there be another alternative besides like some first question answer about soy milk and almonds? What is your take on that? Yes, Goran. Can you hear me? Goran. Hello. Goran. Goran, hang on here. Yeah. Hello, are you there? It's lagging. Completely lost. Um, additionally, like uh, sorry, sorry, we... just now you're lagging. So uh can you restart your answer again? Do you hear my question? Do you hear my question? Uh oh. Uh, it's okay. So um I don't think if industry, oh my God, okay. I don't think the almond milk industry being um, destroyed will be that devastating of a loss. Like, of course it will be tragic, but I don't think it will affect that much as there are other alternatives, which includes, but are not exclusive to like coconut milk and oat milk that can also be really good um, plant-based alternatives for dairy milk. Plus additionally, right, with the advancements of technology, I believe that scientists may be able to um, synthesize milk that by, um, as we have just mentioned just now, like through cloning regular milk or through synthesizing plant-based. Uh oh, you're lagging, you're lagging. Hi, how's Xian? Later you stay back. Huh? We'll not be afraid and we can still continue our advocacy for um, a replacement of dairy milk in everyday diet. Yeah. I think you can say that, well, uh, having said that, whichever products that we bring in, there will always have pros and cons. There will sure have some um, at times where we may not have the resources to look for almond, for example. But nevertheless, I think uh, I'm strongly to, I mean, sorry, I'm very, um, how much should I say that? Sorry, uh, I'm very confident to say that um, with this product, almonds it has been for many years, and I think it's felt enough to use it for the time being. But this is how we go to put sustainability on the world map. <clears throat> and uh, it's a one stone kill too, but because almond is also good for other things like health, and milk itself is already a good protein, so it kind of compromises to each other. Okay, one last question. Okay, one last question. Uh, from what you have mentioned about sustainability with almonds and others, do you foresee that in the future that um, people might use other types of meats or other uh, dairy products for babies? Besides um, the, I mean, the human meats, besides, do, do you foresee that? Um, could you repeat your question? I didn't catch that because my internet froze again. So what happened if let's say now, uh, will you foresee in the future, besides using this kind of almond nuts or coconut meal or whatever it is, uh, do you foresee there's another type of um, product or dairy products 
that can replace what you have mentioned for babies or for even adults or for or all of us? Mm, other than these types of milks, I mean, as I have mentioned in my previous answer, I think scientifically and chemically synthesized milk could make its way into the markets and make its way into our homes. Plus, like I believe with technology and research, it could even have enhanced taste, enhanced taste, yeah, and also enhanced health benefits. Other than that, I think for babies, um, there are already alternatives yeah. like soy milk powder and like almond milk powder. Um, for that, I recommend doing your own research. For example, going to shopping apps like Panda Mart and going to... Going to where? Going to where? Going to where, Richie? Going to where? <laughs> He's like, going to where? 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's touching me. <laughs> that like me, that like me. Eat him. Can you touch me? Oh my God, poor thing. <laughs> uh, Quarren, we are we can't hear you are lagging. I think you're not nervous. The internet is nervous. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's not nervous. The internet, uh, <laughs> hey, Quarren, I didn't hear you just now, the last part. I mean, yeah, 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 I know. I, I saw that everyone froze. Uh, so basically, if you want to do some more research and this want to discover more on the vegan milk alternative. I strongly recommend you to go on to applications like Food Panda, if you all know what that is. So basically, Food Panda has this fun. Again, again. Oh my God. Poor thing. <laughs> Can you imagine that, Reiti? He okay. said all of us frozen. <laughs> okay. Then, my Warren, you've done a good job. I think, uh, can I add two words for you? Uh? Add the word paradigm shift. So when they're asking questions about this, use the word paradigm shift. Take note, lah. Okay, so it's a kind of paradigm shift. It's a different school of thoughts. Okay, uh, it's a way that we see things progressive. Use the A Z. Uh, surely, uh, it will be slowly, surely, and definitely, it will start to progress. As this is what you call a paradigm shift in terms of um, kind of dairy products. Okay, use these kind of words: paradigm shift, slowly, surely, definitely. Uh, as a matter of fact. I strongly agree that what you mentioned is possible, but um, as through my presentations, I would look through ways to how to improve uh, something like that, okay? Okay, okay, okay. I think all of you, are, but I need you all, those of you I call your names, please stay back for a while, okay? Uh, the names that I call just What did we do? Yeah, I need to punish you. How many can you? How many can you? Warren and Zia, all stay back. And, uh, no. Thanks.